You may have thought recently that all the problems on Ryanair were sorted when they did a deal with Irish pilots, but that is not the case, as Owen Corey from Travel Extra is about to tell us more Ryanair strikes, where and why. Yeah, it was never all going to be sorted just because 95 guys in Dublin signed up. Uh, if you remember, 250, the rest of the pilots in Dublin signed up in February. The way Ryanair have approached the fact that they're dealing with 37 different markets is to square off pretty much the three big ones, uh, Matt, early in February. Italy, about 23 million passengers, the deal signed. Um, then uh, Spain and I I England would both, uh, Britain would have both over just over 20 million passengers each. Now, the real issue then is you've got quite a lot of unions in different countries, some more significant than others. There's a little bit of what I would call uh, competitive attention seeking um, unions threatening, you know, the mother of all strikes we saw from one of the smaller unions at the weekend, getting as much publicity as they could. That's what unions do. OK, but we're briefly, significant... Owen, the one thing is, is pilots have caused most of the trouble, but now it's the cabin crew. Can cabin crew cause the same disruption as pilots? Nothing like the same power, and the pilots that will cause a headache for Ryanair are the ones in Germany. They have about 400 members, and that's the market that Ryanair is targeted for growth. It wants to go from 5% to 15%. They can cause a lot of headaches, but the reality is there's been a lot of threat, very little disruption, even in Germany today. Okay. It was less than thirds of the flights in the country. Owen Corrie, so don't... thank you for joining us, Owen. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Owen. Uh,